Okay, let's do this. So in this video, we're going to cover Chaman events, what they are for, different ways to trigger them, and also give you examples on how you can use them. Well, let's get started. So common events can be found inside your database under the tab Common Events. They're essentially events that you can call anytime from anywhere inside your game and are mostly used for cases where you need the same event to be happening at multiple times to different locations inside your game. So to give you a quick example, let's say that I was to call this event Hello World and what I wanted to do is show the image from an NPC, this one that says Hello World. Simple enough, is it? So once I apply the changes and save them, I can go inside a map in my project, talk to that said NPC, and whenever the character is going to interact with her, instead of showing the text Hello World, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside the flow control, click on common events, and call the common event called Hello World that we just created. So by testing this inside our game, what's going to happen whenever I talk with the NPC is that it's going to call this common event, which is going to show us the Hello World on the screen. Now, another way to trigger in common events is by using switch and other run and parallel trigger inside the common event. So those two works the exact same way as any other events. That means that other run will prevent the player from doing anything, while the parallel will still keep running and allow the player to keep doing stuff in the meantime. So for this example, we're just going to go with the other run and affect the switch number three, which will call my common event. And basically what it does here is that as long as the my common event switch will be on, then the common event number one L world will keep running its content. And as soon as something shuts off my common event, then the loop will stop itself. So actually I'm not going to use other run, I'm going to use parallel. And what we're going to do essentially is that I'm going to show a text. Once again, let's just go the same exact thing that we just did. So hello world, except that in between each messages, we're going to also wait one second to allow the player to be able to do some stuff. Now I'm just going to apply, click on OK. We're also going to have the character here instead of calling hello world event. It's going to activate the switch my common event, turn it to Han, and we're also going to have a page which is only going to happen when my common event is on, and what it's going to do is that it's going to turn off the switch. So talking the first time, we'll turn the switch on, and talking to the PC the second time, we'll turn the switch off, which will also shut down the common event. So let's try this. So now I'm going to activate the common event by talking to the NPC. As you can see, the dialogue appears, waits for one second, and then it appears again, and again, and again, until I end up talking with the NPC, which turns it off. And suddenly the common event isn't working anymore. And if I talk to her again, then it just starts working again. So that's basically how you can apply loops uh, as parallel event or other runner events for common events. You simply need to allocate a switch to it then you need to turn it on or off depending on when you want the event to apply, depending on what you're trying to achieve. Now, some of you at home might be wondering in what kind of scenario might be useful to use common events. Now, there's a whole bunch which we're going to cover in a lot of different videos, but to give you a quick example on what you might use it for, for today, what I did is I created two NPCs one inside the village over here that's called the common event hello world and also one inside the city right over there which is the exact same and it also calls the common event hello world now this common event i changed it in order to actually process something else so i'm just going to show you exactly a quick example of what my new common event does but essentially if i talk to him it says hey welcome to my shop wish to buy something and if you say yes, it's going to open you a shop which sells potions and super potions. Now, if I go inside the city instead, so if I go into here, and I go talk to the NPC over there, which is essentially the same, once again, it's going to open the exact same shop. So that's one of the many, many useful ways that you can use common events. It's actually like, for instance, shopping. So if you're creating your game and you're not sure exactly every single 
options are going to be available for the players at different locations but you know that all those locations are always going to offer the same exact items you can do this through a common event so if i was to modify the common event once and basically apply new items well what's going to happen as you probably understood is that those new items are not only going to be available now for the village but also for the shop inside the city and it's all through common events so imagine that you have eight nine or ten merchants inside your game and then you realize that oh shoot i need to have this new item well common events prevents you from having to manually update all those eight nine ten merchants inside your game individually and so by calling and using common events instead you only have to do the modification once and you're sure that it's going to apply to every single merchant inside your game so if i go and i go back to talk to them as you'll see we have new items that have been added and since the same npc inside the city calls the exact same common event i know for a fact that it's gonna do the exact same thing which is selling all the exact same items so that's one of the many many ways that you can use and apply common events okay so that's it for today's video on common events make sure to like subscribe leave some comments whatever and i'll see you later for a new video bye goodbye